everybody showing up. Um, since our uh, our last game, um, I had a couple chances to uh, to talk, and, and uh, first I shared um, my feelings about uh, about our team and uh, about the organization and representing the twelves and my intentions of staying with the Hawks, man, and that um, that was uh, true to the bone, and uh, I want to make sure that that's that's clear as things have shifted so quickly in, in most people's perspective. Uh, it's been an honor and a thrill to be part of this program. And uh, I've loved every minute of it. And uh, <laughs> you've watched me love it <laughs> in particular. Um, and it's, it's, it's exciting that, that there's such a future uh, uh, here. And, and you can see it. And we, we know what's happening. And, and uh, it's bright. And the club's got great places to go. And there's great chances. It don't ever happen automatically. There's a lot of work to be done and all of that. But the future is bright. And uh, following our season-ending meetings uh, with ownership um, in the planning sessions, it's clear that, uh, and for a variety of reasons, um, we, we have mutually agreed uh, to set a new course and uh, for the club um, to, to take on new leadership. And uh, that's just a decision that's been made. And, and uh, um, there's a lot that went into that and a lot that went behind that. And uh, uh, for all my guys, I, I think you know how, how much I probably competed uh, for our perspective and, and our standpoint and, and, and all of that. I freaking didn't back off for an instant. And, and uh, what's going to happen now is the process will start to get a new, new leadership here. And that will be uh, on Johnny's, Johnny's docket. He's going to get after that and, and make that happen with help of ownership and all that. And we'll, we'll be supporting them as much as possibly can happen uh, so that they can do a great job with it. Um, I, I'm so grateful to the coaches uh, that have been with us uh, for so many years. Also, all of the coaches that have been here for the years before um, that put up with my stuff and, and uh, found way, you know, to bring it to life daily. And uh, I have great gratitude for that. <laughs> really, it was really, and I go, I go to, the, it's not just the dedication and the loyalty, it's the freaking juice. <laughs> it's bringing it. And I asked a lot of them, and uh, they were good at it. And I appreciate that a lot. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so heartfully sorry for the families. Um, Y'all don't realize how, how deep this runs. Um, you know, it's just going next coach, next staff, what's going to happen, what's the future and all that. There's people in this thing. And uh, it breaks my heart that um, so many people get, get shocked and adjusted and surprised and all of that. And the children, and we have so many kids in this organization that we love so much and we celebrate whenever we get our chance. Um, it, it breaks my heart that, that you know we're dealing with that, but that's that is what happens, and that's part of this business, and part of a lot of businesses. It's not not unique just to us. Um, to the players that that have been part of this thing, you don't probably know this how, how deeply I feel about um, the NFL. is about the players, and uh, we've not recognized that to my satisfaction. I brought it up at the league meetings a few years ago and probably surprised some people about it. But this league is about the players. And without those guys doing what they do, there's nothing. It isn't about the ownership. It's not about the coaching. It's not about the color of the uniforms or the going to the stadium. It's about those guys doing what they do and putting their, their body on the line so regularly. And it's not just a, a statement. It's, it's real. Uh, and to, we should always, I, in my opinion, understand that we should celebrate those guys because they are the NFL. They are this, this game that we love and, and the game we get to coach. Who, who would I be coaching, you know? Um, and uh, I have some, a lot of thoughts about that, but I really do appreciate it. And to see some of our guys here today, I mean, it means the world. It means the world. Uh, the, uh, I, I want to remind us, I guess, one time about, about the work. Yeah, tons of work dedication, all that hard stuff that, that we do with coaches and players to get to what we can get to. But it's really always been about the fun. And uh, Wags, you've always been the guy that always reminds us that if you ain't doing it right, uh, you're not having any fun at all. And uh, I, I appreciate you keeping me connected to that. It, it's pretty inherent to me, too. You know, we're, we, we're birds of a feather in that regard. But I also, uh, Bobby, is, is I appreciate you and, and T. Locke and Gino that have kept me connected to our former players. Um, it, that's a really important part of this relationship of being a coach, and particularly in this program where we've been there for so long and so many souls have come through. Um, having you guys with me all the way through this, this time, 
and I always feel like I'm a little bit connected to those guys, and I don't ever want to lose that connection because I'm so indebted to all of the time we spent and the things that we did. I'm so proud of, of, of really seeing the young men grow up and take off in their lives and doing their things and owning businesses and families and kids and the whole thing. It's a, it's a great joy for a coach, but I, I appreciate you keeping me connected to that. Um, I really want to, I got to thank Jody and, and, and unfortunately Paul not, but uh, the family w was really classy at all times and, uh, and they supported what we were doing. Uh, I felt this, the support faithfully throughout and uh, grateful for that. Um, it's, a, it's a nice relationship here with the ownership and it's as good as it can get uh, from my perspective. Uh, maybe harder on, the, on personnel guys sometimes, Johnny, but, but uh, always so good. And uh, to Johnny uh, Snyder, you know, way back in the day when uh, I first got the job here, um, they wanted to know if I wanted to be the general manager. And I said, no, but I'd like to hire him. And, and Paul said, okay. And we, we got John on, on board. And, and uh, from the first moment that we really, okay, now we're going to do this, we stepped off to the side. And, and I, I, I gave John a big hug and I said, we're getting married, dude. And, and uh, I'm going to help you be the, the greatest general manager in, in the history of the league, if I could. And, the, and uh, you took 14 years to get to it, and I'm so proud. I'm so excited for you to, to have this opportunity. It's going to be cool. And, and it's always been a great marriage, and uh, um, it's just unforgettable. And I'm just so grateful for that. Um, and going forward, I'll, I'll be your biggest fan now, dude. I'll be there. I'll be right there for you. Um, I, I've been blessed with, like, the rarest of best friends and uh, mentor um, loving partner, the angel in my life. <laughs> this is worth crying for. <laughs> um, Glenn, nobody would ever understand how significant she's been through all of the stuff that we've been through and uh, how important she is. As, a, as She's just been the angel in my life and uh, I owe you everything. <laughs> Um, my boys, Brennan and Nate, you guys would have no idea how valuable they've been to me because they were the ones that would give me all the crap about what I was doing wrong and what I was screwing up. They were harsh and, and their critiques were rash and, and the whole thing, it was perfect because I needed that loyalty and uh, they were the epitome of it for me and I'm uh, forever grateful. They know, they know, but uh, I don't mind saying it to you. Um, because it's hard to be that deeply loyal. It's hard to tell people what they don't want to hear and, and what they need to hear. And uh, it's, it's rare to have people around you that are willing to do that, particularly when you get in this kind of position. And it's so necessary to, to do well and do right. Uh, so fellas, uh, I love the hell out of that. Um, Jamie and the crew, uh, my daughter and, and, and all our, our, our husbands and wives and our seven plus kids, we got one on the way coming in April, uh, making Glenn and I the proudest grandma and grandpa you can be, uh, really, Grateful to those to those kitties that uh, put up with grandpa's crazy stuff because you can imagine I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty whacked out grandpa um, uh, <clears throat> And I just I just want to say this that um, one, one of the things I'm most proud of in, in, in getting here is way back in the day when uh, I called Tater and said, you know Hey, we got a chance to go to Seattle man when, and uh, how about we take a, take a shot and get up there and maybe two or three years they'll give us a chance and then they'll kick us out of here and uh, we'll see what happens, you know. But I'd like to, like to take the culture that we had at SC and see what happens. And uh, he said, hey, of course, Tater is all, always on board. Said, yeah, heck yeah, let's go. And uh, 14 years later, man, it's, 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 we're, we're both still shocked by that. Um, and, but we're grateful for it as well. But, but what I am most proud of is, is that we, we took a culture that we developed there in, in those college days and came here to see if you cared for people deeply and you, uh, and you loved them for who they were and tried to find uh, the, the extraordinary uniqueness that made them them and celebrate that and not try to make them something that they're not and not, not to, uh, try to expect them to be something other than that, but try to see if we can capture that, that extraordinary uniqueness that they had uh, and celebrate that with them Let's see what happens. Well, at SC, we killed it. And uh, we came up here, and overall, we've been successful for a long time. I, I didn't think any way that this would happen like this. I didn't have that vision. But I'm grateful for it, because what we have here, we have an extraordinary culture. And uh, um, I'm really proud of that. The guys that are here know. Guys that come here and leave know. Guys that haven't been here before and they show up here, they're shocked. And, uh, and really, it's 
that happens because you guys continue to celebrate it and keep it going. And, and I'm able to keep calling on you guys to, to illustrate what it's all about. And uh, this is a very special place because of all of that. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, so um, the, the one last part of that, that I wanted to say is that what it's always been the, the, behind the culture is trying to help people find their best and uh, one person at a time. And uh, it works. It's real. And uh, you can feel it. And um, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So we, we learned something here. It was a total experiment. <laughs> it was a dictator. It was, we, we had no idea. Um, but you guys are examples of, of how that worked out. So I, I love you and appreciate that. So uh, that's it for now. And uh, I'm freaking jacked. I'm fired up. I'm not tired. I'm not worn down. Uh, you, you guys tried your best. You didn't wear me out. I'm, you know, it's the end of the season. I'm supposed to be, you know, go lay on a cot somewhere. I ain't feeling like that. And uh, um, you know, there's what's coming. I don't know. I got no idea, and I really don't care right now. But uh, I do. Um, I'm excited about it because there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to study. Uh, there's a uh, there's some great discoveries that are going to come our way. And as my my all-time mentor Bud Grant said, not in so many words. Uh, there's there's rivers to wade. Uh, there's waves to catch, and there's mountains to hike. And uh, it wasn't exactly how Bud said it, but uh, I get it. And uh, that's some cool stuff that we're going to do here. Um, and uh, I look forward to all that. So um, with that, go. What do you got?